What are the cons of not having kids? Well I'm in my 60s and I don't have kids. The downside is now I don't have any family, I'm the last one left. I work in TV and the hours are notoriously brutal, especially when you're starting out. For years, a friend of mine kept a pic of his wife and two kids on his desk. So when producers would roll in with notes at 6pm to get him to work late he would just point at the pic. Plays, recitals, the flu, no babysitter, whatever. Found out years later it was photoshopped. He's married now, with kids. No one to avenge your death. Lack of cheap unreliable labor. It can make you feel isolated from your peers, whether childless by choice or circumstance. I'm having medical emergencies in my 40s and still need my 70-year-old parents to bring and take me to appointments. You have fewer excuses to use to call off of work. Holidays are kinda depressing. I went to watch my nephews open gifts on Christmas morning then spent the rest of day changing exhaust manifold gaskets, oil change, and a tune-up on my truck just because I had nothing going on. I think it's best to frame having kids as going on an epic life-changing adventure. There will be glory and wonder and there will be horrors. The highs will take you higher than you ever thought possible but man are those lows low. So con you'll miss out on this epic adventure. But there are other paths to other adventures, ones with their own excitement and peril. Or maybe you're more of the stay in the shire type. That's fine too. I have no heirs for my fortune. I have to count on a gold digger wanting to inherit. When I want to impress my wife by doing the dishes, I can't just secretly get the kids to do it for me. Having to pick up the dog shit in the yard myself. I would like to think that raising my own children I would be able to teach them kindness and acceptance to help rid the world of the stupidity that we can't get over. I likely won't have that chance at least on my own children, but planning to volunteer to maybe help others' children. No one to bring you the remote. You always get the so when are you having kids question. At the age now where my friends from high school are shipping their kids off to college and becoming late thirties empty nesters. Basically regaining all of the perceived benefits of us childless folk, but with a whole adult offspring out in the world. That part seems pretty cool, but still no regrets on my end. I'd say one con is that I since I don't have to get up early on the weekends to shuttle kids to games and events, I sometimes sleep in later than I expected. You wake up, and you've missed breakfast at MCD's, and have to order from the lunch menu. No hash browns for you. It sucks. A lot tougher finding spare kidneys when one goes bad. Loneliness. As you age and your friends have kids themselves you will increasingly find that you have no one but your s dotto to do things with. It's especially bad in retirement as long-term friends and family start to die off. You could easily find yourself with absolutely no one to talk to. Your friend pool gets really really small because they all have kids and they can't do jackass anymore. Having to listen to all the parents tell you what a joy raising a family is. I work with older people mostly those with serious and complex medical problems. Very often the role of carer falls to the childless adult child. Due to the perception they don't have anyone else to take care of thus it's their duty. Every tax refund season. Well, when I die, I die. Potentially nothing of myself lives on. I'm also the end of my family line. I have half siblings, but only I have the name. People keep asking you when you're going to have kids. Heck my husband and I are in our 40s 50s with seven adult kids between the two of us, and people still ask if we're going to have more children. People need to stop asking other people about their reproductive goals. People always telling you what you are missing out on. You have to laugh at your own farts. It's definitely harder to get time off work. 
people with kids can get off at the drop of a hat. A couple of years ago I worked with two moms who would constantly have to go places at the drop of a hat regarding their kids. I tried to book a half day three months in advance and my boss said they would have to see closer to the time dot. As someone who's not married and has no children it would be nice to have a closely bonded group of relatives to come home to every day. Eventually most or all of your friends will have kids and you'll be left out of a lot of things. As a woman, nobody respects you you are looked at as less of a woman for being childless. As someone who works with children and has none of my own, I am constantly looked down upon. I'm thinking how my Christmas dinner would look like in 30 years. Can't really think of any except no one to take care of me if I do make it to that age, but that's selfish AF anyway. Everyone gives you a fucking hard time about it and you get told you will regret it. Figuring out how to cope with that. People with kids will never stop treating you like you're strange for not having them. Always having to answer why you don't have kids yet. There is a really cool, super fun kids imagination museum in my town. You can only go if there is a kid in your group. I totally get that this is to keep out creepers and rabble rousers, but I had just as much fun as my six years old nephew, and can only go when he visits which is almost never. In a lot of cases, people don't take you seriously if you're a woman and not a mom. Especially at work for me. People usually parents invalidate when you are tired or finances are tight. But you don't have kids. No one to blame for not achieving your goals. There are some cons, but only for certain people. Some might feel lonely later in life. Some might regret not having kids. But lots of people that choose not to have kids don't face any cons. There are just lots of pros and lots of cons they don't experience. The desire to have kids. It sucks. I don't get anything for taxes like the people with kids do. I can't get food stamps. If I need help with a bill, the community center won't help me because I don't have kids. Being told something's wrong with you for not having them yet. I'll let YA know when I find a downside. I'm 58. No tiny slaves. I don't think people know the meaning of the word cons versus pros. No one to marry off to secure strong relations with neighboring kingdoms. People with kids explaining what the cons of not having kids are. Being told you are selfish or taking a free ride in life. Some people have no business being parents and know it. That is not being selfish. People act like you're a monster when you say things like you don't want kids. Like somehow you hate children. I want female companionship, something like a cabin in the woods or island life, few hundred acres to explore, and a small farm situation something like Thoreau described in Walden but with modern amenities. I want to have my life away from those who want children. The parents might be the worst.